Hello there, this is Retro Spirits Gaiden, and this is Xena Crisis on Nintendo's 64 bit console, the N64, as it's more commonly known. Crazy. Anyway, this is Bitmap Bureau, they made this game, and this is Commander Darius. They've got Code Red, Distress Signal. Oh no, it's all speechy. It's like the real people trapped inside my console. Uh, that's not true, is it? Uh, we have more speech in this game. So, this is a Mega Drive game. Ported to the N64 in a crazy messed up world um, that we currently live in in Space Year 2023. That's the sort of thing that happens. And you pay 70 quid for this, and you get a cartridge, a cartridge box, a manual, full color manual mind, and uh, a little plastic tray that cartridge sits in. The cartridge is of very nice quality, and so is all the other guff you get in there. And on the cartridge is a twin stick shooter in which you mow down aliens and collect uh, dog tags and special weapons and defeat bosses. And it's a rather cool game. It's a very enjoyable game, is Xeno Crisis. And it'll be up to you whether you want to spend 70 quid on it, I guess. It's um, about the same price as the Mega Drive one. Uh, you'll, if you go to the Bitmap Bureau's website, you'll see that um, it has the price, which will be 55 English pounds, but then it has VAT and postage at the checkout. So total, I paid about 72 quid to get this version. Now I've double dipped because I'm stupid, uh, but actually I just wanted to buy a new N64 game, so I haven't had one for a while. And because I like this game, and I like the N64 joypad, which might be sacrilege to some people out there, um, I thought I'd give this a go. And I'm quite glad I did. I do recommend it. And like I say, the quality of the reproduction on the packaging and the cartridge itself is very pleasant. It obviously doesn't have any Nintendo branding on it, but it is very cool. They've paid attention, and uh, that's always appreciated. The game itself has had a slight rebalancing, I feel. It's a little bit easier, and having the um, extra weapons appear more often is a boon. But also, because of the way the N64 joypad is laid out, you can have grenade and roll on the shoulder buttons, which means it makes it a bit easier to. Uh, defend and attack with grenades. So that's cool. The music is really, really similar to the, to the uh, Mega Drive version, which leads me to believe they've recorded the Mega Drive music somehow, and it's playing back an audio file. And I don't know if that's fact, but that's what it feels like. There's a bit more speech in the game as you go through. But um, N64 games back in the day used to do that a lot. I've got a couple of Star Wars games where They've recorded the snippet of orchestral music which gets played back to you from time to time. Uh, so that's definitely a technique they've used on the N64 before. Uh, this sounds pretty good here, it has to be said. So yeah, all in all, uh, pretty good game. I haven't noticed any major bugs yet. Uh, I haven't got all the way through the game, I haven't played it to the end. But yeah, it's cool. It's a fun twin stick shooter. 72 quid on your N64. Beautiful. If you don't fancy the N64 version um, in physical form, you can download a ROM. Uh, the ROM is about 15 quid, I think. Same with the other versions of the game. You can get a uh, Dreamcast version and it's even a GameCube version, which only runs on modded GameCubes. And the Mega Drive obviously can still be had with a ROM version of the Mega Drive. Actually, my version of the game said it came with a complimentary download of the N64 ROM, which I haven't received yet. So I emailed them, get that bureau, and not received a reply. So their customer support could do with a little bit more support, as I am a customer, and uh, at, least, at least acknowledge I've sent them an email for crying out loud. Anyway, the game itself is cool. Uh, customer support, not so much. And that's a Xeno Crisis, recommended on the N64. Not really that different to the Mega Drive, apart from 
obviously, if your N64 isn't RGB modded, you're going to be getting softer visuals. Uh, and that's a shame. There's no blur filter on this. It's all pixely. Uh, so that's cool. Any blur that you can see in this video is just because my N64 only does S video output, and not RGB. But it's still pretty nice. Yep, yeah, class game. Alright then, ta -ra.